Hi everyone! Welcome back to our Arts and Crafts group. My name is Amy and I'm an Occupational Therapist at Helping Hand Center and today we have another really fun activity planned. We're going to be painting with fluffy paint and I'm so excited. So let's get started. All right, so first we have to gather all of our materials that we'll need for this project. We're going to need some shaving cream and liquid glue, a measuring cup, and I have a fourth of a cup, a spoon, a pair of scissors, some food coloring, and a few Ziploc bags. And with the bags, we want to make sure that they're nice and sealable. Uh, otherwise, things are going to get messy really fast. <laughs> and then the last thing we need is some paper, and preferably construction paper or um, cardstock, something that's a little thicker so it'll hold the paint better. All right, so go ahead and get all of your materials and then we can get started. Okay, for our first step, we are going to start measuring our ingredients. So go ahead and take one Ziploc bag, and put the others off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and open that guy up and get it nice and ready. And then we are going to measure out our shaving cream and our glue. So I like to do a fourth a cup of glue and half a cup of shaving cream. You can kind of play around with that again if you'd like. Um, I know some things We'll do a fourth a cup and a fourth a cup, so equal parts. Um, but I kind of like to have a little extra shaving cream and give it a little more um, texture when it's dry. So I'm going to measure out my glue first. And go ahead and put that in our measuring cup. Use two hands. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So the nice thing about fluffy paint is that when it dries, it dries a little bit like with um, higher on the page, so there's a little more volume to it, so it won't dry flat. So it'll make your pictures kind of look 3D, which is pretty cool. And also, once it's dried, it has a nice kind of fluffy texture, so it's fun to poke and um, check it out that way. All right, I'm going to pour my glue in the bag. All right, there we go. And now we'll do our shaving cream. Make sure to shake it first. Again, like I said, I like to do half a cup of shaving cream. Shaving cream sometimes gets stuck, so that's why I like to have a spoon on hand just to help get it in the bag. Okay. And here's half a cup. Scrape off what's left on the spoon. And then you can set those guys to the side because we're going to go ahead and, um, oh, first we got to add our food coloring. So we can do several different colors, um, but it's only one color per bag. So go ahead and choose your colors. Depending on the vibrancy of the color, you can decide how many drops. I think I'm going to do four blue and four red. Try to make a nice purple color. Two, three, four. All right, so now we're going to seal up that bag. And I would triple check that it's sealed because, like I said earlier, that's how things are going to get messy is if it's not all the way sealed. And you can try to get some of the air out. That might help while we're squishing everything together. All right, so now that it's nice and sealed, and go ahead and you're just going to squish that bag until everything combines and you have a nice color. 
and texture for your inks. <laughs> so the reason we wanted to get a decent amount of the air out is so when you're doing this, you're not going to accidentally pop the bag. That would not be good. Yeah, make sure you get those corners so you get all the white in there. Just have some fun with it. Mm. I might need to little, add a little more red to make my purple. All right, so now that you've finished mixing your color together, go ahead and set that off to the side and you can do the same thing for as many colors as you want to make for your picture. All right, so now that you've got all of your colors made, we get to paint. So grab your paper and a bag of whatever color you want to use first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push down all of the paint into one corner. And it's kind of going to be like if you've ever seen people who pipe out frosting on a cake. And they make some of those really cool designs. And that's kind of what we're going to do just with paint instead of frosting. All right, so once you have it all in one corner, you're going to go ahead and gather up the top again to kind of keep it bubbly here. And then we're going to go ahead and use our scissors and snip off the bottom of that corner. And that's going to give us a little hole where our paint is going to come out and then go ahead and paint away. So once you've finished your masterpiece, whatever that looks like, we're gonna need to let it dry. So as you can see, the paint kind of came out where it was kind of raised from the paper, so it's not flat. And so when it dries, it's actually gonna stay raised like that. So we don't wanna poke it, <laughs> as tempting as it might be. But instead we wanna set it aside for several hours, um, at least, three or four, I usually like to do it overnight just to let it fully dry. And then once it's dry, um, you can kind of feel it and it feels kind of fuzzy and fluffy. So 
Um, I'm going to let mine dry, set it aside, and I will show you the finished product once it's done. All right, so I have just gotten my picture. I let it dry for about six hours. Um, I would still recommend overnight just to be sure that everything's finished and dry. But here's my picture. As you can see, it kind of puffs up. And it's fun to touch because it's, um, I mean, it's fluffy. So that's mine. I hope you guys had a lot of fun doing this project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.